even know where to start. <laughs> I have like a lot of products and this is going to be a long video, which my last video was really long. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and happy new year, happy 2016. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this video. As you can tell by the title, this is going to kind of take a small jump back in time into 2015 and just kind of revisit some of my yearly favorites. Now, I haven't done a monthly favorites video in honestly, I don't know how long. I don't think I did one at all in 2015. And if I did it was maybe like one video um, <clears throat> the reason that I haven't done any favorites videos is just because it costs a lot of money honestly to go out and buy so many products in order to really like change anything like on a month-to-month -month basis I honestly like I find something that I really really like and that works for me and I stick to it so it's honestly kind of hard to have different favorites every month if that kind of makes sense if you guys do want to see monthly favorites this year please 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 definitely comment down below and say hey yes we would love to see them even if it is just like one or two things. With that being said, I <clears throat> decided to just kind of make a 2015 favorite. So just pulling all together or just pulling um, products and things and whatever it is in my entire daily life for the span of 12 months, <laughs> 2015, things that I gravitated for, um, things that I could just be like, yes, this was definitely something I used like all the time um, throughout the entire year, like honestly throughout the entire year so I just wanted to share them with you guys and see if any of you guys like any of these things or maybe they could be something that you want to try out as well I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, lip products just because I am such a lippy junkie I love lipsticks especially matte lipsticks and lip liners I'm not really into lip glosses so I don't have any lip glosses that I went to at all this year I'm just not really a lip gloss kind of girl it just is too messy for me all right I'm gonna go ahead and start with these I have used these in my tutorials like I said if you've watched me you have seen these these are the Italia deluxe lip liners and I got these on Amazon and I got these for really 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 cheap I mean like I want to say like less than $12 and I think it came in a pack of like 12 it was something like that now the price is different now I have checked it has gone up um, since it's gained some popularity um, so it has gone up in price a little bit but if you want to get your hands on these these were super awesome and I found myself reaching for these all year long and especially these are my favorite colors right here it is in the, the color Auburn was my favorite magenta deep purple and natural beige I beige I use these so much this year I love these love these love these they stay on really well I mean these are like butter on my lips I love these three other lippies that I was obsessed with this year the first one being the elf matte lip color this one right here in the color tea rose I wore this even when I didn't have any makeup on I would just throw it in my bag and just like put it on throughout the day I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a yellow hue here I'm gonna turn this down um yes what was I saying? Oh, I <laughs> I would just take this everywhere with me. I wore it to like every single event um, forever. Like I love this color. It's such an awesome like mauve, purple, pink, nude color. I don't know. I just felt like it went with every single thing and it was so easy to wear and so easy to just put on. And plus it's matte and this is when I developed my love of matte lip colors. And yeah, I just love this and it's elf so it's super affordable. The next one that I really fell in love with was with, with was this NYX Liquid Suede and this is in the color Vintage. I used this in a couple of different videos and in tutorials and then it just in videos in general and people are asking what is that I love that lip color this is amazing it's super super soft and just such a 
gorgeous, gorgeous color. Yes, I ended up gravitating towards this lip color a lot this year. I should stop saying this year, last year, it's so weird. The next color that I fell in love with late in this year because it came out a little bit later is the Revlon Ultra HG Matte Lip Color. It's in Seduction, this is in Seduction. It's more of a nudie color, it's actually the one that I'm wearing right now, but I love this matte lip color. I don't find that it's drying on my lips at all. I just feel like it's this gorgeous, gorgeous, like rosy kind of nudie color. I don't know, I reached for this a lot last year when it came out carried it with me just like the elf color um, loved this one the next like lip ish product is this little guy right here it's just this tiny little skull and I actually picked this up at spirit during Halloween it was like a couple of bucks and it's actually a lip balm and it's just I don't know I just thought it was so cute so I love like little uh, skulls like this so I picked it up and fell in love with it and the lip gloss in it is actually not bad actually it's not lip gloss it's lip balm I think I said lip gloss it's lip balm and I like to keep this just on my vanity for when I'm doing my makeup so I can just like put it on really quickly before I start doing my makeup that way when I apply my lips color my lippy color my lips are hydrated so I definitely liked this from like October to the rest of 2015 Sticking with beauty products, the next thing that I fell in love with this year is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I've now used this in probably my last couple of tutorials when I'm doing eyeliner, which is pretty much all the time. Um, this is, I got a matte one and a vinyl one, and I tend to use the matte one more just because the vinyl one is shiny, and it's also a lot harder to get off. Um, so for whatever reason, I just like matte everything, so I went with this, I love this matte one. And the, the thing that I really like about this is whenever I would apply um, a liner of any kind, especially a liquid, I would pull my eye like this and close it and do it. And I would pull like so hard, like how I'm doing right here. And that's so bad for your skin. And I always felt terrible doing it, but I could not get like a good precise line with any other eyeliner. I've tried multiple different ones that have like the skinny applicator, but for whatever reason, this one is just so thin and precise and it goes on so smooth and quickly. I've wanted to talk about this for a while now, so I'm glad that I'm talking about it now, but I don't have to pull on my eye now. I can literally do it just like putting it on and it goes on pretty well and I I just I just love this the application of being able to with this of being able to do a wing or just a regular just like a line with this has made my life so much easier and I feel so much better that I'm not like tugging at my skin because that's so bad love it I love it so if you're looking for something to make your eyeliner go on a lot faster and a lot easier without tugging on my, on your skin give this a shot so the next thing I'm going to talk about is this Skin Iceland, and this is the Icelandic Relief Eye Pen. Um, it just looks like this. And uh, what I like about this product is that it's super cooling, and you just put it under your eyes, like in the morning or at night, under your makeup, or if you're not wearing any makeup at all, and it just gives your under eyes a nice cooling relief. Um, it just kind of helps with like bags under hair. Now it's not going to like totally take bags away, but it does feel really good. And it has like good vitamins and nutrients in it that just help with that delicate skin under there. So I have been loving this. I've been actually using this literally probably since like 2014. But because we're talking about 2015, I probably use this like every other day for almost the entire year. I'm actually almost out, so I'm going to have to get some more. But yes, I do love this. I did I do and did love this product all year long. Okay, so another <laughs> Another product that I'm going to talk about is the e.l.f. Toning Adjusting Face Primer. It fills in fine lines and neutralizes redness because it's green. Now, this is the e.l.f. Primer, and I don't know, I've just really, really liked this primer. I picked it up just like on a whim because it was cheap, and I wanted to try something different because I had been using Smashbox, and... I was like, I'm just going to try a different primer, but I don't have a lot of money right now. So I went with e.l.f. and I ended up loving it and actually using this probably the most. Like, I actually can't remember the last time I used my Smashbox. Helps my foundation just go on a lot 
a lot smoother. I feel like almost better than the Smashbox, and that is saying a lot. I know I'm sure somebody out there is going to be like, girl, you're crazy, but for me personally, I loved this e.l.f. primer this year, last year. Um, okay, we're going to talk about brushes, and I only have three that are like my super, super favorite that I just like absolutely, absolutely absolutely fell in love with. Last year, I really stepped up my game as far as brushes go, and it's really helped my makeup application process and just like talent or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I did end up spending quite a bit of money and stepping my game up in my brushes, and I now have a newfound love of certain brushes. And the first one I'm going to talk about is this Morphe M439. This is like a big buffing brush and I've been using this like non-stop for my foundation. I just put my foundation on and I kind of like stipple it at first like all over and then kind of buff it out to make it nice and even and it gives like just such a beautiful beautiful foundation application so I've been loving this brush. The next brush is the Morphe G2. I oh. If I had to choose like one brush, that would be really difficult, but I feel like it would just be this brush because I love this brush. I've talked about this brush like a couple other times in some other videos. It is a little bit newer in my life, but I use this brush to blend out concealer under my eye right here, and I just can't get over the amazing quality of these brushes for the price for one. I, You guys know that I love Morphe. I'm obsessed with Morphe. Oh, this brush. Okay, I just, it's like it just magically blends out any under eye concealer. Like, I just can't explain it to you guys. You guys have seen it in my tutorials. I love this brush. If I had to pick one brush for like my whole life, I feel like it would be this one just to conceal like my under eyes, which is weird, but it would be this one. I love this brush. I reach for this brush every single time I do my makeup. There's no other one. There might be another one out there, but this one right now, or at least for like 2015 and probably into 2016, love. This one is actually this one. It's icing. It's from Claire's and it's an HD foundation brush and it just looks like this and uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a pretty dense like, honestly, I don't know a lot of terminology when it comes to brushes. I just get them and I make sure that I know what they're used for and then sometimes you can use them for something else, but I just use them and if I like them, I like them. So, I don't know, it seems like pretty dense. I do see that a lot of the foundation comes down pretty far, but honestly, I don't wear makeup every single day, so I'm not really worried about like product waste, if anything, I'm just like, well, it's got to go somewhere so that my money gets, like, you know, is useful or whatever. But um, the way that I, that this brush applies liquid foundation is gorgeous. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I, I mean, I've used it in a couple of tutorials, but I just kind of, like, am able to kind of brush it out like this, just in strokes, and it just applies it beautifully. So I really, really, I really, really loved this one. In 2015, I don't know if I told you, but I picked it up at Claire's for like not less than $10, like maybe even less than eight, something like that. Um, one thing that I want to talk about, and this is like kind of random, but this is something that I've also been loving in 2015, is this green machine by Naked. It's 100% juice smoothie, a blend of five juices with added ingredients, no sugar added. Now, that doesn't mean that this doesn't have plenty of sugar in it because it has the natural sugar from 11 and a half apples, which is a ton of sugar, two and a, um, one third bananas, two kiwis, one and a half mangoes, and a third of pineapple. Now, that is a ton of fruit, which is why there's a good amount of sugar in this. Um, but there's also a lot of vegetables in it. So there's spirulina, alfalfa, broccoli, spinach, kale, garlic, barley grass, wheatgrass, ginger, and parsley. So what I do with this actually is with my uh, 
bullet blender is I take fresh spinach and I literally jam pack that full of spinach like literally like it's probably like this big and I fill the entire thing up with spinach and um, a couple of cubes of ice and then I add just a little bit of this like maybe like half of the serving size into that and then I blend it up into a smoothie so that I'm still getting the nutrients from this but I'm also adding vegetable to it um, so I blend that up and that has been like literally my favorite thing in 2015 like I reach for this for lunch and sometimes even for dinner so I'm having that like twice a day and I'm getting a good source of vegetables or at least in my opinion I'm getting a good source of vegetable because it's really hard for me or probably a lot of people to be able to stomach and swallow down vegetables um, so I use this as an alternative and I just kind of started playing around with this in 2015 and I fell in love with it and I always have one of these in the fridge if not two if you guys are interested I guess in getting more vegetables or something maybe check this out and just blend it up with some spinach but I've really liked this in 2015 okay the next thing that I want to talk about is also not a beauty related product not really are these two little guys these are just little ice packs that I picked up from TJ Maxx um, from the revive home essentials now revive Joe 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 stop it There's a lot of Revive products at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and I picked this up a long time ago, actually, but yes. Now, these are just like little ice packs, and I like to use these when I have a headache. Um, some people like hot, like, you know, whatever when they have a headache. I like cold because I feel like it numbs it. And I just feel so much better when I like crawl into bed and say I have a headache or something and I just fill this little guy up and oh yes feels good even right now and I don't have a headache um yes I love these I tend to like this one more which is funny because this was the first one that I got and this was the second one it has little porcupines on it but I just think it's so cute and um the nice thing about it is it holds the water like it doesn't leak at all. I haven't had any problems with it leaking or anything like that. Like if I fall asleep in bed and all the ice melts, I haven't had any problems of it leaking anywhere. Um, so I really, really love this. I, I just fell in love with these and that's why I got the second one. But it just opens up like this and you put the ice in there and it just twists closed. Um, so yeah, I've been loving these. So if you like cold stuff, like an ice pack when you have a headache. Um, you can pick these up at TJ Maxx. They're super cheap. I think they're like less than five bucks. So yeah, I've been loving this last last year and I'll continue to love them. Next thing that I've loved in 2015, this is probably my favorite thing. Maybe some of you have seen this little bugger sitting behind me on my nightstand. Is my water bottle at night because I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm parched and I need some water. So this is the Star Wars um, little sippy. I think I got this at Target for like a couple bucks. Um, it's easy because I can be like half asleep and just be like Hmm, amount of water. That's sad. I gotta fill it up. It's usually full. Um, but yes, this has been my very, very favorite thing. This has not left my bedside except for when we went to go see the new Star Wars. I took this with me, full of water. Um, yes, I love this thing. I've used this thing like every day. This does not leave my bedside. So just a fun little like do dad in 2015 that I used every single day. Once again with my Morphe Love, I'm not going to go too much into these because I've talked about them a good jillion times, but it is um, Morphe palettes. Now I have probably like six Morphe palettes now, like maybe seven. I don't even know. It got a little bit out of control. <laughs> but these are my two favorite palettes. It's the 35N and like you can see it. It's the 35N and the 35O. Now if you don't know what the 35O palette looks like, I will give you a quick peek see because it's stunning. This is the 35O palette. It has a lot of orange colors, a lot of fall colors. Yes. Stunning. The 35N palette I love because it's more neutral and then it like randomly has like pink and purple and like a blue in there which to me is like so odd. It's such an odd palette I feel like because like look at this pink. Honestly this pink is bright and this purple, I don't know, 
Yeah, I don't know, but what I love about this palette is the neutral colors. I've used this palette a bunch of times, so this has quickly become a very, very favorite palette of mine, of all of my Morphe collection. Those two palettes have been my favorite. The next thing that I wanna talk about that I learned to super love in 2015 is the Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Talex with Cotton Extract for sensitive skin. Yes, I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin. Um, this removes dirt, oil, and makeup without rinsing. These do a really, really great job at taking my makeup off, um, especially my foundation. I usually use something else for my eyes, um, but for my foundation and everything, and this has helped just kind of keep my skin clean and clear and hasn't broke me out. Um, I used to use these Say Yes to Cucumbers like religiously for the longest time and then I decided to try these kind of earlier to mid in 2015 and I haven't gone back to the cucumber ones I actually gave one of these away in one of my giveaways I love them so much so this has been a huge favorite in 2015 okay I think the last thing that I have to talk to you guys about is actually a book and this is the book called every day I fell in love with this book so quickly that I just want to read everything else that this author has written. It's by David Levitan. Um, this is about a soul of sorts, a person, I guess, like a soul that wakes up in a different body every single day and ends up falling in love with somebody that he met like in the first chapter. Um, and he tries to, he, she, it tries to find that person and be with that person like every day thereafter. Um, it's just a really cool, different book. Um, I've never really read anything like it. It's just so cool that this like soul is wakes up every single day in a new in a different body totally different situations it touches on a lot of different topics um but this book i actually found um was suggested by oh, a girl here on youtube i'm so sorry i forgot her name i will link her channel down below but anyways if you are a bookie or a book junkie whatever this girl has phenomenal reviews on a plethora of books so I found her review on this book and I immediately picked it up and I love it I actually have another book that I'm going to read um, that she also suggested but I just really trust her reviews and suggestions of books and she gives a really really like short and simple um, description of like each book that she's talking about Anyways, this is like a super favorite of 2015. Um, I read a couple other books that I really like, but this is one that like really stuck in my mind for a good while. Um, so I, yeah, so this is, this is a favorite of 2015. <laughs> Actually, the last thing that I really want to talk about that were some of my favorites for 2015 was you guys. Um, I've had some real good supporters and just like people that take the time to like my videos or comment on my videos, um, subscribed. Of course, I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers. And uh, But even on my Instagram, I do see you. I see you guys commenting on my YouTube and going over to my Instagram and liking my photos and commenting. And so I just want to say a huge thank you once again. So I just want to give like a shout out to people that I have really noticed that on like a consistent basis I've seen comment and like and just support me in whatever way even if it's just like the tiniest little comment or good job or anything there's been times where you know I'm just like what's going on you know like I'm not gonna do this anymore um, and then it's so funny because the day that maybe I'm thinking that I'll get a comment of from somebody just being super supportive and enjoying what I do on YouTube because I really do enjoy it. Um, I enjoy the whole process of being able to create for you guys um, and think of like different things. So I just wanted to make sure that I gave that shout out to, to, to those people. And of course a shout out to anyone that I might have missed like supporting me and my habits.
my YouTube habit. <laughs> um, so big shout out to those people and thank you so much. That is honestly it. That That's all I have. Like you guys made 2015. Super cool. That is it. I hope that you guys like this video. I'm sorry it's so, so long, but it is what it is. So if you did like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you like it because you like it. And until next time, I hope you guys have a good day or good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And this one, what color is this? Stop! <sighs> Driving me crazy. I have a lot of makeup to talk about, but I actually got a lot of makeup this year. So, I mean, like, sort of, like, products that I used a lot. Anyways, and thank you to, uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>